Hey guys, um, I am finally coming to y'all with a little GoPro tutorial. Uh, just really about how I take my pictures when I'm running, out on a run, all my GoPro pictures basically. Um, usually just involve running, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Um, I have the GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Um, I just got done running, so my hair's all crazy. Um, I have the Hero 7 Silver, so um, an older model. Um, I got it a few years ago. The silver is a step below the black, um, so it just has a little bit less features. There's so many different types of GoPros. They're all great. Um, if I could choose one right now and it had zero, if I had no budget, I would do the newest, best one, so. But they're all great. Um, so, I have this Max tripod um, that I use. It is GoPro brand. I got it actually off of Amazon, but it's GoPro. Um, that's what I use the most. Um, for my pictures, I have another one that I obviously don't have right now, um, but it's a little bit bendy. I got it in a set off of Amazon. It came in like a hundred pieces, like different accessories, which is also great because you can bend it um, around the stroller and stuff, which I love. So it's hands-free. Um, I think my GoPro thought it was talking to it. So anyway, but this is the one I use the most because it's a tripod. So you can set it up for pictures if you're running past it or standing in front of it, whatever. Um, but you can also hold it. Um, you can bend your camera at different angles um, and then it extends longer and shorter. So that's my favorite one. It's just easy to use. I just stick it in the, um, the cup holder in the stroller back when I ran with the stroller. So um, for taking pictures it's super easy you have to download the gopro connect app you have to connect your gopro to the app via the steps you like connect it with wi-fi gopro wi-fi whatever but it's really easy um i think um for mine all you have to do so the options for take using my gopro camera are time lapse video and burst which is photo so you can do just one photo or you can do burst. I just keep it on burst because it takes a whole bunch of really fast pictures, like 15 or plus pick 15 or 20 pictures in a matter of like one second. And it's great because I can just choose one from there. Um, so literally all I do while I'm running is I either set it up with the tripod and mess around via the app because whatever you see through your GoPro lens you can see on your app. So once you connect it to your phone, you just click, um, I don't know, view, whatever. I'll have it in a slide next, but you just, you can see everything. So you can manipulate the camera up and down to where you get the perfect angle, whatever. Set it up or extend it, hold it out, start running, do, 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 you run in and all you do is say, GoPro start burst. And it just took 15 pictures. So all I do is go into the app and go through my pictures, go through those 15 it just took, pick a favorite one, download it to app, save it to phone, boom, done, edit it if I wanna edit it, whatever. And that's all you have to do. There's nothing magical. There's, it doesn't have to be complicated. There is a button at the top um, for whichever mode you're in, like I'm right now in the picture mode. If I press that, it'll do the burst. If I have it slid over to video and I press this red circle, it'll start the video, whatever. So you don't have to like be holding it while you're running. It doesn't have to be awkward. Just whatever angle you get it at that you wanna be in, set it up and then just tell it what to do. If for some reason your voice command doesn't work, sometimes that happens to me and voice command doesn't work because I've done something wrong then just have your app open and you can just press the, the command, which will be the um, photo icon or slide it over for video if that's what you want and press start, whatever. So whatever you wanna do, say burst photos, you slide over to the camera, press it while you're running or running past it or you're in your pose you wanna do, whatever, and it'll do it. And it'll take the burst or the video or the time lapse, whatever. So you have to be careful because I just said video and I started taking a video. So um, 
voice command is fantastic. I use That's what I use the most, unless it doesn't work. Then I just have my hand, my phone in my hand and I run and I press it really fast. And then either if I'm with the stroller, I drop it in the cup holder really fast and just like act natural or whatever. So um, yeah, that's that. And I'll take you through the slides and walk you through how to actually, what it looks like on the app and things like that. Um, so hope this helps. <clears throat> okay guys, so I have my GoPro on the Max Grip Plus tripod. I'm setting it up and you can um, adjust the camera um, angle and everything and the length of the tripod. It looks good here. So I'm gonna show y'all what it, how I took this picture. So it's set up on the tripod, um, just like that quick little video. Um, this is the view from my app. So use the app. It is to your advantage. It's so easy to use. I make sure I'm in position. I can mess around with the camera angle if I'm not in the frame good enough or how I want it. And then just use the command GoPro start burst or press the, uh, the, the button on your app. Um, I kind of hid my phone by my foot there. And then just choose your favorite picture, download it to the app and save it to your camera roll. Super, super easy. Um, and then here I'm setting up this picture. So it's more of like an action picture where I'm running past the GoPro. It's still on the tripod set up in pretty much the same position as it was. It's on the shortest length of the um, tripod and the camera's kind of tilted up. That gives you like that stretchy long leg look. Um, <clears throat> so I do the command. I find a picture, zoom in to make sure it's clear. And then I save it to my camera roll after downloading it to the app. If you're not in the frame, you don't like any of the burst pictures, the burst takes 15 of them. If you don't like any of them, just keep trying. Rearrange your camera, rearrange your positioning, yourself, your pose, whatever. And then keep trying. And it'll take a good picture, I promise. So this is running more straight toward the camera. So I have it set up right in the center of the road or your sidewalk and you run straight to it and then right past it. Um, I used my phone in that one to take the picture. The voice command wasn't working. I kind of distinctly remember that. Um, so that's why my phone is in my hand in some pictures. And then here, um, I'm holding it and I'm running and using the voice command. Just kind of mess around with the camera angle. Like I said, you can use the app to make sure you're in frame. Use the voice command, GoPro start burst. It'll take a burst of 15 pictures. Make sure your burst setting is on. Okay, and then just here it was wide and then it flipped to vertical. So I had the camera horizontal and then I flipped it to be vertically um, positioned. So that's why you kind of saw that screen flip there. I like the vertical positioning for like real videos or like Instagram stories because it covers the whole screen. Um, so here, <clears throat> yeah, okay, this is what I wanted to get to. So this is connected to my stroller via like a stretchy little tripod I got off of Amazon where I can kind of like contort it and mold it around things. And I have it on the stroller bar here. Um, this took a lot of practice so this is vertical up and down so the camera is vertically positioned um, and I like that because I was using this video for a reel so it covers the whole screen instead of like wide where it has black on top and bottom um, so that's this position the Amazon tripod came with in like a set of like gosh like a hundred different things um, this is where I'm holding it with the max tripod on all these. Um, this is just video, obviously. So you can say GoPro start video if you don't want to mess around with it on your phone or on the button on your GoPro. Um, and just mess around with the angles. This is where it was snowing in Texas, okay? Snowpocalypse, Snowmageddon 2021. We're hoping to never experience that again because we had no electricity. So... <laughs> That was this. I had to obviously document the snowstorm because we never get that. It was beautiful to look at. Um, 
the GoPro is water resistant slash waterproof. I don't take, I don't submerge mine underwater without a waterproof case, but it is supposed to be water resistant at least. So taking it out in the snow and in the rain, it'll be okay as long as it's not drenched for a long time. So I hope this helps. Um, hold on, hold on. The GoPro really is a fantastic okay, camera. And this is done with a waterproof case on top, just for the record. Uh, yeah. You can find it on Amazon or on the GoPro website. Yeah.